about going into your senior year, having spent your, your career here playing in your hometown? Um, it's going to be a good experience, just um, going out there, giving it our all, knowing it's my last year. It's really exciting, but at the same time, it's like, where did all the time go? Because it went by so fast. Yeah, <laughs> um, we don't all feel so small now because we're all kind of the same size now without Mimi towering over us. So, yeah, it is a little bit easier out there. What would you say the expectations are for this team? Every team wants to win a championship, but you've been down the Mountain West Conference for a few years. You know, we're all within this conference. Um, I think we're here to compete, and it's not to be the best. It's just I think we're – we're definitely just out here to, you know, win games, win when, we're, win when we're supposed to, and just go out there and compete to the best of our ability. We definitely have a talented team this year, so. How excited are you to just, you know, get, get the season started, get practice started, get back out there? I mean, how, how exciting is that? Oh, it's, I'm so stoked for season just because we've been working so hard during the summer. So it feels like it's just so far away, yet so close. So just just practice in general. I'm just excited to get back on the court with the team. Do you feel like you need to be a leader on this team, having uh, being a senior on this roster? Um, definitely. Um, I've had a good position on this team since my freshman year, and I've definitely contributed. So I think just going into my senior year, I. I do have younger eyes looking at me as a leader, just being a senior leader, just, yeah. What have you done this all season to condition yourself mentally, physically? Um, physically, we've been doing weights a lot, a lot of weights, a lot of running just out there with Bubba getting us ready, um, a lot of lifting in that aspect. And then just mentally, Bubba also has prepared us. He gives us, you know, running that makes us do one more extra mile, like one more, just even if we're exhausted, he makes us keep going. So that definitely helps with our mental toughness. One question for Yeah, it's, I'm good, and it's I'm good. Yeah, and I'm happy to be back, ready to go. How tough has it been rehabbing and coming back? Um, this one I feel has been tougher mentally, just because it's the second one. But it was a lot easier physically. I was ready to go sooner, but mentally it was harder. Yeah, we're really young, and I think um, it's just going to be a whole different dynamic without Mimi. We're going to be a lot faster. It's going to be a different game. How does that play into your game Um, I honestly like it because I like to run as a point guard, so I'm ready for it. Just get back out on the court. Your thoughts and just get back out there. Uh, it's great. I don't know. I'm so excited for it, because, especially because I've sat out for almost a year now. So I'm ready to just get out there and get things going. I don't have a stat sheet yet, so <laughs> don't have anything to look at. Uh, I'll just start by saying a few things. I'm, I'm uh, cautiously optimistic about our team. Uh, I think that this group of people that we have here last year, this time, we, you know, no secret, we were all expecting, wanting to win a championship. We felt like we had done what we needed to do, and then it all kind of fell apart for things that we can't really control. So I think the group of young ladies had to make a decision whether to do that again or just say that wasn't really a lot of fun. It, it's really hard to work that hard and then not get what you want. And I'm really excited about what they, as I, I knew what they would do because they're they're just that character people. But, you know, I, I listened to Timo and, and it, really anybody talks about how young we are because we lost five seniors. But 
in a way it's the opposite of young we have more experience now than we did last year if you look at we had lost Danica and Ari and Timo were our starting three guards the year before and so we played last year without any guards that had really played um, so that was young guard play now we've got Ashley coming back with Kelsey got a lot of great minutes and we've got Timo who of course had a lot of great minutes before so I think that our post players actually are ahead of our guards right now because they aren't as young you know Niasha got a lot of great minutes Julia Tej is a totally different player she's who we thought she would be um, so you know I, I think that I'm really expecting really um, a different look Obviously, we aren't going to have a 6'8 post player who can shoot 62%. So we're going to have to take more shots. We're going to have to play a different way. But I've been doing this a long time, and there's a lot of ways to play. And it, it's fun and energizing to me to be able to just know what we've got, and they're ready to go. Well, Niasha, I mean, Niasha has the physical tools to be a first-team all-conference player. You know, mentally, I think she um, has not been consistent for us that she wants to be. I mean, we know that. We talk about it. I, I see, I've seen a lot of maturity in her in the last month. She's the local player who really, there's a lot of pressure to be the local player that stayed home, but I expect huge things for her. I, I think that you can, would be able to take her first three years and put them together, the success she had them, and that will be her senior year. I would just be disappointed if it's anything less than that. Do you ask Timo to curb her uh, aggressiveness a little bit? Yeah. No, I won't. Larry Bird never did. You know, I mean, Timo's just got to battle and be hurt if she's bruised and battered. You know, Timo not being Timo would be a very average player. So I, I think that when you listen to her talk about how hard it was for her, wouldn't it be hard for you if you had just done something that nobody else had ever done? Triple double, I mean, ready to go, and then all of a sudden you're hurt. That just, again, that knocked us all. So I think mentally she will be ready for it physically. She will keep getting in better shape. Um, you know, she knows the game. She loves the game. And, and uh, no, I'm just going to go get them, T. What's it going to mean to you when you get to 500 this year? It'll mean that um, I'm old. <laughs> it'll, it'll mean that uh, I get to do it with a group that I love. Um, that I don't feel like I'm, I feel like it's, you know, second or third season I've coached. I hope I'm smarter than I was my second season. Uh, but it'll bring a lot of memories because I've had a lot of players that were really great people and great players, and I'll, I'll think about them. And a lot of people have invested in me as a coach. A lot of great athletic directors have given me opportunities when others said she shouldn't have one. So uh, it'll, it'll be a real sweet thing for me. What kind of team you're going to put on the floor this year? I mean, without having really practiced full time yet. You know, the NCAA does an interesting thing. They let you practice two hours a week. So we would practice for an hour and then take three days off and then practice an hour. But enthusiastic, chemistry, quick learners, fast, speed, a lot of mistakes. We might make more mistakes the first game than we made the first five games, but we might do more things right too. So um, we're not going to be short on enthusiasm or, you know, confidence. The, the freshman class has a lot of confidence. You know, they should. They, they were all very successful. It would be, be great to have a, a local product, another one in, in you know, Morning Rose. I, I believe that she has um, – it's going to be – we don't really know how to use her yet, whether she's a one-two. We don't really know a lot because we haven't seen them play five-on-five five as much as drills. But um, I, I think that you're going to be real surprised at some of the people. We're in better physical shape. Um, First to say that last year I was not pleased in our physical condition, and I would give our strength coach an A plus in what he's done from last uh, early summer to right now. I, I don't think there will be a team that will outwork us. That's really all I can promise you. But I, I, we keep numbers. We've kept a lot of numbers, and our numbers are better than they've ever been. Um, and and again, we'll we'll see. We have a tough schedule, but. Um, you know, we have a lot of people that have worked really, really hard, and that's we've controlled the off season. I think we won the off season, and um, now we'll we'll see if we can stay healthy. And hopefully, last year our injuries were what I would like to finish my career with no injuries like we had last year. Any questions for 
I just want to say buy season tickets. I mean, they're cheap, they're good. I mean, find a way to get here and uh, watch us because this is the, we want this to be the year that kind of puts us on the map.